there. So just before I start the video, I just wanted to say that... Sorry, one second. Hello? Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh-huh. Right, right. Alright, goodbye. It's sponsor time! As a gamer, I'm a huge fan of RPG games that have many different characters with a variety of playstyles. So, of course, cue Raid Shadow Legends. And I know what you're thinking. I've heard this ad before. You may have, but have you downloaded it yet? Because it's actually really fun! The second I downloaded it, I was immediately sucked in. It is so much fun to play, and that's a good thing, because the more you play, the more rewards you get. You can also win or buy shards to get new characters. I'll show you a few of mine. From my shards, I got Elaine, or Elvin Megan Fox, if you ask me, Madman the Dwarf, and lastly, Sentinel of the Barbarian Clan. Their character design is amazing, with some beautiful champions and some not so beautiful. <laughs> This guy is... Whew, yikes. And if you don't like a specific champion, or if they have pretty trash reviews, you can just sacrifice them and level up a character you do like. Once you gear and level up your champions, you have many different battles to try to put them in. There's campaigns, dungeons, arena, factions, PvP, all that, and much, much more. Raid is constantly coming out with new champions, and they have some concept art for some of the new ones. Let's take a look. So if you're interested, go ahead and download the game. Give it a try. All the links are down in my description box. And if you are a new player, you can get 100,000 silver and a free champion just for downloading it. This is the champion that you could get. His name is The Channeler. You will find your rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. That's right, the next 30 days only. Thank you so much to Raid Shadow Legends for the sponsor, and let's move on to the video. Tell me, why am I not surprised that you're here again? Right? You know you can't regenerate like Logan, right? That's not your mutant power. Oh, you do, do you? Okay, well, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> this is like your second time this week, isn't it? How's your leg healing up? Good, good. Well, I heard that you tried to take on Cable alone. Really? It's a good thing that the team was right behind you. You could have got really hurt. But instead, you got hit really hard in the head. So, I'm just gonna. Which side was it? Okay. Yeah. Wow, okay. That's definitely a big bump. Okay. Wow. Alright. Uh, looks like I'm gonna- I'm just gonna do a quick cranial nerve exam to see how bad your concussion is. There's no way that you don't have a concussion from what I heard happened. <sighs> I worry for you. You know, you don't have to be so reckless. No, I'm not telling you to hold back. I understand that when you joined the X-Men team that you'd have to battle. It's just maybe you need to make some smarter decisions. You may be a mutant, but you're still human. Right? Are you okay? Are you feeling okay? It's just with you being more reckless, and 
I talked to Charles and he said that you were having those nightmares again and listen, what happened to Hank? It wasn't your fault. I know you were there, but well, I know because I asked Charles, he didn't tell me. Well, because I was worried about you. Listen, as your doctor, and more importantly, as your friend, I just want to know if you're okay. All right, I won't ask Charles about you. Let's move on with the exam. I understand that you're not ready to talk yet, but just know that when you are, I'll be here for you, okay? Alright. So let's do a quick one, real quick. <laughs> okay, so I just want to make sure if you've been having any um, sluggishness, fogginess, grogginess, haziness. Okay. Have you been having any memory problems? Huh? No? What did you eat for breakfast this morning? Mm, that took you kind of long to recall. Also, you should be having a more nutritious breakfast. That doesn't cut it. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. I'm just going to check your cognition and concentration really quick, just very basically. Um, can you answer a few questions for me? Uh, what is your name? I know it seems silly, but I just need to check. Okay. And your age? Okay. Name something that is red. Good. Name something that is green. Okay, so when I say these words, you tell me the first thing that comes to mind, okay? Rain. Okay. Science. Okay. Pillow. Sleep. What is your favorite food? Okay, that last one I was just curious about. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna do a quick check. I'm gonna shine a light in your eyes and you tell me if it's uh, especially painful or if it is more bothersome than normal. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm thinking I'm going to need to do a more in-depth cranial nerve exam just to see exactly what was affected because even though you answered all the questions perfectly, uh, you did seem to have an issue with concentration. Okay, so let's get that started. Just going to put on my gloves here. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is feel the muscles in your face and see if everything's normal. Here, can you smile for me? Okay. And smile again. Okay, so I'm just gonna check this area here. Can you squint your eyes for me? Okay, one more time. Okay. And 
raise your eyebrows, please. Okay, one more time. Good. Okay. I'm just gonna feel around this area. Feel your salivary glands and your thyroid. swollen, so that's a good sign. Can you open your mouth for me? Okay. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay. So everything looks good in the throat area. Nothing looks swollen. Okay, you can close your mouth now. Okay, everything there was fine. I already took a look at the bump on your scalp, but I'm just going to check the rest of the scalp real quick. Make sure I don't feel anything abnormal. Soft spots. Nothing wrong. Okay, I'm gonna get the back here. Okay. Back to this side over here. Whew, that is definitely a nasty bump. Okay. Okay. Alright. Everything else. Seems fine, just that one area is pretty bad. Oh, yep. I checked your throat, but I didn't check your swallowing, so I'm just gonna feel your throat here. Okay. Okay, and can you swallow for me? Okay, and one more time. All right. Okay, that's good. Don't want to have any issues with that muscle. Okay. You can check your breathing really quick. Make sure that everything is fine there. Can you breathe in for me for three seconds? One, two, three. And out. One, two, three. Okay, one more time. In. And out. Okay. Just once more on this side. I want to make sure everything's fine. as well. Check your heartbeat real quick. Okay. Nice and strong. The thing about the head and head injuries is that because a lot of things go down inside your brain, brain injuries can be very serious and so we need to make sure that everything is working and that you are fine. Okay. Alright, next I'm going to check the nerves in your face. going to touch various areas of your face like this and I want you to tell me if you feel it okay so start with this side
there's actually a lot of nerve endings in our chin, so we just want to make sure that everything is good. All right. Next, I want to check your balance. Uh, okay. A lot of times with head injuries, it can sort of knock us off a bit, especially with cognition and things. All right. Just want to finish some of these notes here. Muscles and nerves are good to go. Alright. Can you please hold your hands out for me with your palms up? Good. Now, I want you to touch your nose. Go from holding your arms out, palms up, touch your nose but one hand at a time, and I'm going to touch the hand that I want you to touch your nose with, okay? That one. To the nose. Okay, good. That one. To the nose. Okay. A little slow. All right. Now I want you to close your eyes. Same thing. I'm going to touch your fingers, and then I want you to touch your nose and back to the same position, please. Close your eyes. Good. Okay. To the nose. And back down. And that one. Nose. And back down. That one. Okay. And over here. We did have some issues with that. I noticed that you weren't quite hitting your nose with that one. A little bit concerning. Um, uh, let's move on to a different one. Do uh, the same thing. Hold your arms out with your palms up. And I'm going to push down. And I want you to resist my, my pushing and um, push up. Okay? Ready? And push up. Up, 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 up. Okay. Same thing, but other side. Push down. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on your shoulders. I'm going to push down, and I want you to push up. Okay. All right. Push up. Up, 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 up. Resist my pushing. Okay. All right. That was good, though. That wasn't too bad. I want to write down the bits that I did see. Okay. Yeah, that is definitely concerning. That is uh, probably due to the concussion. Um, may take, depending on how bad your concussion is, it may take a few days for that to go away, if not weeks. So let's just keep going to see how bad this is. And yeah, it's so good. All right. Yeah. Can you? Open your eyes for me and look straight ahead. I need to check your pupil dilation. Make sure that they are both the same size. One isn't bigger than the other. Okay. Okay. 
So, I see that your eye on this side doesn't quite dilate as much as this one and it's probably due to the side of the concussion it probably affected your eye it's fine, it'll heal, it's nothing um, out of the ordinary it's just definitely concerning Please look straight ahead, look at me, and I'm going to move the light side to side. Look right here. Okay. One more time. you to follow the light, so instead of looking at me, I want you to look at the light and follow it around, okay? Check your ears. Make sure those are okay. Let's move on from the eyes. I'm not going to do a comprehensive ear check. Um, I'm just going to whisper in your ear a few numbers and you tell me if you can hear them first of all. And um, then I'm going to have you repeat the numbers that you heard. Everything is fine there. Of course, everything's connected, so we gotta make sure. I have a few bottles of liquid here. They all have different scents. All the bottles and all the liquids are the same color, so you will not be able to tell the difference, okay? sound like to you? Good. Yep. Peppermint. Okay. Can you smell this one? Vanilla, right?
oranges, right. Yep. I love the smell of that one. Okay. So you're hearing and you're smelling is good from what I can see. No issues, but I did happen to see issues with your eyes and your cognition. That is a bit concerning. Um, not gonna lie. I'm gonna be straight up with you because I want you to be a bit more careful. Um, depending on how bad concussions are, they can last up to a year and they have lasting effects. So when I mentioned that you can't regenerate like Logan, um, I want you to remember that. You know, you're excited to be a part of the X-Men crew and I hope that it's long lived. I hope that you're there for a long time and to ensure that, we need to be careful. Okay? So no solo missions, unless it's an absolute must. For the concussion now, I'm going to give you some medicine, but what you need is some rest and to lay low for a while. I need you to get a good night's sleep, okay? Maybe listen to some calming music, uh, fresh sheets. I know that after I wash my sheets and I get in bed, it's very calming. Maybe take a hot shower before bed, or a bath. Just anything to sort of calm you down, get you ready for a good night's sleep. Because you need it. It's going to take some time to heal your concussion, but even though I did see some things of concern, um, it's nothing deadly, nothing that makes me worry for your life, but um, just know that it could have been worse. Okay? You got lucky this time. Alright. So, I guess uh, you're free to go, but uh, remember that if you need anyone to talk to, as your friend, I will always be there for you. Okay. Don't be a stranger. But maybe the next time I see you, I, you won't be even more hurt. <laughs>